When evaluating magic cards, people will often say, ah, this just dies to removal. But what does that mean? Basically, it's a way to argue against a card, saying that it's too slow. Let's look at Giant Adiphage, for example. At first glance, this card seems insane. A massive creature that can snowball out of control. One attack, and you're almost guaranteed another Giant Adiphage. And then two, and four, and infinity. Yet, this card is pretty weak despite that. And even though it's a mythic, the price reflects how weak people think it is. And the reason is, well, it dies to removal. When you cast the ant, any opponent can just cast murder, and then your 7 mana investment has been countered for essentially 3. There are a lot of cards like this, which seem really good, but when you realize how slow it is, they just flop. So what doesn't die to removal? Well, there are 3 main ways to get around this. One is creatures with enter the battlefield abilities. Looking at another 7 drop, like Agent of Treachery, we can see this. Agent is much more powerful. As soon as it enters, you yoink something from an opponent, and you permanently steal it. Even if they use removal on Agent, you still get whatever card you stole. The second way around dies to removal is with Death Triggers. Cards like Worm Coil Engine show this. If they kill the worm, you still have two creatures left over. Lastly, Cast Triggers are the most powerful since they get around most counterspells. Cards like Artisan and Kozilek can reanimate a creature on cast, and it's really powerful, especially since the Artisan itself is dangerous on its own. There are also some cards that die to instant speed removal, which are a little better than the Adiphage. Cards like Two-Headed Hellkite, which has haste, so you can draw cards the turn you cast it, which makes it a lot better than the Adiphage. Still not as good as an Enter the Battlefield effect, because instant speed removal will still kill the Hellkite. So, what does this all mean? If you're building a commander deck, I don't want you to think that I'm suggesting you stop playing slow cards like Giant Adiphage. Because I'm not. I love those big dumb creatures. That's the reason I play Commander. To play all these big goofy spells. But I do think that you should look at your decks and see how many slow and fast creatures you're playing. If you're playing all slow creatures, you might find yourself a little weak to just spot removal or any removal in general. Maybe try mixing in a few creatures that have ETBs as opposed to ones that have attack triggers. Alternatively, you can look at ways to give your slow threats haste or indestructible so they're at least harder to take down. Cards like Sneak Attack can give creatures haste and let them attack immediately, or cards like Swifa Boots can give them haste and hexproof so that they can't be hit by the removal in the first place. It's not perfect because they can still use removal when you attempt to equip the boots or before the sneak attack creature actually gets to combat, but it makes them at least as good as Two-Headed Hellkite. I hope you enjoyed this little video, and if you did, consider subscribing and dropping a like. It really helps. Thank you for watching.